okay very good morning and warm welcome my dear children i hope you all are keeping well so here in this video we are going to discuss about the later vedic age or later vedic civilization in the previous video we have discussed about the early vedic civilization okay so this chapter is going to be very vital and interesting as you have to do the comparison between the later and the early vedic civilization okay so let's uh, begin without any further okay as as you can see in the timeline, the period from 1000 to 500 BCE, okay, during which the Indo Aryans settled in the Gangetic Valley is known as your later Vedic civilization. Okay, the three later uh, Vedas, like your Sama Veda, Yajur Veda, and Atharva Vedas, and Upanishads and the epics are supposed to have been composed during this time okay two important the great epics of ramayana and mahabharata were written during this period okay the you you all know that the epics are lengthy poems that describe the brave deeds and the uh, adventures of warriors okay historians also refer this period as the epic age okay Historian also referred this period as the epic age. Okay. Now, the life of the Aryans during this age has been reconstructed on the basis of the information gathered from this three later Vedas. Okay. The epics as well as the recent archaeological evidences from the reason from the reason of your Hastinapur, the present location is UP in Merit. Merit, okay. Uh, the excavations indicates that there was a use of iron during this period. So we can say that the uh, the civilization was very much advanced as there was a evidence of the use of very important metal that is iron. Okay. Now we will see the first aspect of the civilization that is political organization okay this is very important part of the chapter during the later vedic period the small tribal organization expanded and developed into your large kingdoms some of the kingdoms established um, by indo aryans okay known as kuru near modern delhi kushala in our Agad, the present location is Patna, Gaya, and Kashi, the present location is Vinarshi. Okay, you all can see in the map. Okay, Koshala, Koshi. Okay, all the location has been given in the map. Okay, the present location as well. Okay, so in this way, okay, the kings, now the kings, uh, became powerful and king sing become hereditary hereditary means if you are a king your son will also become a king and you must aware that we discuss about the sabha sabha and samiti sabha and samiti remember uh, the main political organization uh, this two groups or uh, these two organization held the king in their administration. This Sabha and Samiti lost much of their control over the king. Okay, as the kingdom uh, become more administration become more complex. Okay, you can say the king was assisted by many officials who were who were in charge of the different uh, departments okay when the king ascended the throne the purohita performed rajaswa yojana rajaswa yojana very very important okay this yojana to confer supreme power on him you can see from the picture the king uh, was elevated to the position of the god's representation on the earth okay then another important thing is here Ashwaveda Yojana. Ashwaveda Yojana means the sacrifice, her sacrifice was performed to establish his own disputed authority over the territory through which the horse moved unchallenged. 
ओके सो दिस टू योजनास अश्वमेधा योजनास एंड दी रजस्विया योजनास बिकम अ इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दी पॉलिटिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ दी लेटर वैदिक सिविलाइजेशन सो इन दिस चेंजेस ओके टूक प्लेस इन द सोशल लाइफ इन द फैमिली लाइफ ओके इन ऑल द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द लिविंग ओके दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो ओके सो टिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड हैप्पी